Good morning, my dear students. Hope you all are safe at your home. Let me introduce myself. My name is Shafna and I am going to teach English class for today. So, for a while, we are going to begin our e-classes. Okay, so, let me start my class. Which is your favorite food? Ah, there are many kinds of fruits, right? Ah, can you list out the name of fruits? Apple, orange, pineapple, watermelon, etc. are some of the fruits, right? Ah, which one is your favorite fruit? Ah, you like many fruits, right? Now, I am going to show you one thing. All of you watch it carefully. Which fruit is this? Ah, this is grapes, right? What is the taste of these grapes? Is it very sweet or sour? Ah, the taste of these grapes are very sweet, right? Ah, I hope most of you like these grapes. Okay, so today we are going to learn a story about these grapes and about a fox. So, the title of our story is The Fox and the Grapes. I repeat, the title of the story is The Fox and the Grapes. Okay, once upon a time, there lived a hungry fox. Ah, ah, then one day he went to the grapes garden. One day he went to the grapes garden. And in the grapes garden, what does the fox so He saw a bunch of grapes were standing there. What do you mean by this bunch of grapes? Bunch of grapes means many grapes tied together. Many grapes tied together. That is called as bunch of grapes. So, ah. And many bananas. Many bananas are also called as a bunch of bananas. And I will show you one thing. What is this? This is some keys, right? And these keys are also called as a bunch of keys. Okay. I hope you got the meaning of this bunch. Okay. So, coming back to the story. Uh, the box a bunch of uh, grapes standing on that grapes garden. Uh, then by seeing that bunch of grapes, uh, the fox mouth started watering. By seeing that seed grapes, his mouth started watering. Then the fox was saying that, wow, what a tasty grapes are these. I want to eat that grapes. Uh, then what does the fox do? He started jumping to get that grapes. He started jumping to get that grapes. Get that grapes. But what happened? He could not get. Then what does the fox do? He tried again and again to reach that grapes. But what happened? He could not get any one. Then he was looking again and again to that grapes. Then uh, he stopped trying. At the end of the story, what does the fox do? Uh, he looked into that grapes and he was saying that Ah, those, ah, those grapes must be sour in taste. What is the meaning of this sour? Have you eat lemon? That yellowish color lemon. Ah, what is the taste of that lemon? Ah, that is really sour, right? Ah, so the fox are saying that the taste of those grapes must be sour in taste. And at the end of the story, he stopped trying to get that. Grapes standing on the high and he was thinking himself that the taste of these grapes must be sour in taste. And at the end of the story, he was saying that I don't need that grapes. Ah, it must be sour in taste. It must surely taste sour. So, there will be a moral for all the stories. Anybody can say the moral of the story? Ah, what is the moral of the story? Ah, never blame anyone. Ah, never blame anyone for our failure. Never blame anyone for our failure. So instead what we should do? Ah, we should try again and again and again. Then we must or we should achieve the success. We should never give up. Ah, and at the same time we should never blame anyone for our failure. So, now we are going to learn some new words. Get ready, take your notebook eraser and write down these 
take your notebook and write down lesson one the fox and the grapes the fox and the grapes all of you try to write in a neat handwriting take your four line copy and write in a good handwriting then underline this heading and write down new words first one is hungry h u n g r y hungry hungry means in need of food second one grapes g r a p e s yes, grapes grapes i already shown you then third one reach r e a c h reach then fourth one tries t r i e s tries then fifth one again a g a i n again sixth one surely s u r e l y surely so you must copy these six new words in your notebook in a good handwriting okay now i am going to show you a small video clip about this story all of you watch it carefully the fox and the grapes once upon a time a fox saw a bunch of grapes hanging from a vine he wanted the grapes so he jumped and jumped again but he could not get the grapes so he went away saying the grapes are sour moru we often pretend that we do not want a thing when we cannot get it so that's all for today thank you